Okay. I stopped in the Sweetgrass store over in Park Hills, Missouri yesterday because they had a sign outside, tobacco products. And um, I, they'd had a few packs of cigarettes, but mostly they were selling cannabis, which, you know, that's all right, I guess. They say that uh, people need that stuff, some of them. But anyway, uh, I told the young lady, I said, well, give me that pack of camels off that top shelf up there. And she turned around and looked and said, oh, okay. She could barely reach them. She acted like she hadn't sold any camels in months and months. But uh, she laid it on the counter and said, that's 550. I said, oh, okay. Uh, and I saw this poster of The Doors, Jimmy Boy Morrison, Steppenwolf, The Chambers Brothers, Friday, July 5th, 1968, Hollywood Bowl. Tickets, $4, all seats reserved. And I said, my goodness. Uh, how much for that poster up there, honey? And she said, well, you're going to have to talk to the boss, man. Oh, okay. Where is he? He's over there waiting on another customer, and I, as soon as he got done, I said, boss man, how much for that poster there, Jimmy Boy Morris? He said, he looked up at it, and he said, well, 20 bucks. I said, sold. <laughs> so I bought that. And I remember that. Well, I didn't go to the Hollywood Bowl. I was in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, when this Jimmy Boy come out with his uh, debut album in 67, and then, uh, and I was, what, 15, almost 16? <laughs> and this is, let, this, you youngins, mine especially, pay attention. Now, this is a, a lesson in social, economic, political reality here in the United States of America. And it's all connected, all that. And the people on Capitol Hill have their finger on every aspect of it. And if it's good or bad, they're responsible. <laughs> they are. And they don't like to admit that, but they are. But anyway, 550 for a pack of camels. In 1968, I could buy that pack of camels right there for a quarter out of the vending machine. Yeah, I kid you not. I don't know what I would have to pay for this poster, but I could, could have got in the bowl for $4, so I probably could have picked that poster up for a quarter. They might even give me one free when I walked in the door. I don't know. But like Sylvia's probably thinking right now, Dad, this is ancient history. Well, yeah, uh, not as ancient as the glory that was Greece or the grandeur that was Rome, but yeah, it, you know. But in my lifetime, that's, you know, they talk about paying everybody a living wage. Let me tell you something. When the living wage goes up, the cost of living goes up. It's hand in glove. It always is. But don't get me wrong, if you want to make a living in the United States of America, you get out there and work, and you'll make a living. The money's out there. You got to go, got to go get it. And uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shut up. I hope y'all are having a good Saturday. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday. I will go to church. I might see you there. So, toodaloo buckaroos. <laughs>